Good morning again, marvellous mathematicians. Today, we are going to be looking at fact families and your worksheet will look a little bit like this. But I am using a different number. Now, what we need to remember is we will have our part, part whole. Now, yours is actually completed for you. But I'm going to show you how I would do mine. Now, all together... I've got one, two, three, four, five candles. So that's my whole number. Where does that go on my part, part, whole model? That's right at the top. Then we need to think about parting the number five. So if I was to take two away, so let's put two in the first part of my pole part. How many do I have left? One, two, three. So now I've finished my part part whole, I can think about the sums. Now on the worksheet today, we're going to think about the addition sums first, and then we're going to think about the subtraction sums which we've been using all week. So first of all, when I look at my part, part, whole, I have the answer already because it will not change. I've always got five candles. But these pieces of information, they will look different. We will always use the same numbers but my sums will look different. So my first sum, I could put two, add three, equals five. How could I make my next sum look different? That's right, we're just gonna turn the numbers around. So instead of using two in this first part, I'm going to use the number three. So if I was to take, if I was to have three, we know we have to add two more to it to make five. So my information is all the same in these sums, but we move them around to make them look different. Now let's think about the subtraction. Let me fill in my part, part, whole, so I know what information I'm using. So my information's the same. I'll always be using the same numbers. So I've got my whole. These are my subtraction sums. They will start with five, because that's my whole number. Now what did I do first? I said, let's take away two, didn't I? Let's do that again. Let's take away two. Let me fill that in my box. Five, take away two. How many does that leave me with? Let's have a look. That's right, three. Three. Can you see? I've got all the same information again, but in a different order. So I'm making a new fact up, but with the same information. I'm going to do the same with this one, but I'm going to make it look different to this. What could I do? That's right. We're just going to turn the numbers around. Last time I started with two. I took away two. What could I take away this time? That's right. I'm going to take away three. Let's take away three. How many will I be left with? What will that equals? So my equal sign is not very clear there. It will equals two. So can you see? We've used all the same numbers, but all my sums are different. And these are called the eight fact families because you've got your 
whole number in each of your sums. You've just got to work out the 1, 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, the 7 and the 8 facts that go with it. And they will all be different. See how you get on, marvellous mathematicians. And send me a message if you get find anything too tricky. Good luck. See you later. Bye-bye.